Ever wondered what sets the ultra-wealthy apart from the rest of us? Is it just luck, inheritance, or maybe some secret investment strategy they don't teach in school? While those factors can play a role, today we're diving into something even more fundamental, their habits. We're talking about the top 10 weekly routines that keep the ultra-wealthy at the top of their game. These aren't your typical drink more water tips. We're going deep into the actionable strategies you can implement right now to level up your life. Let's get started. You know that early morning grogginess most people feel? The ultra-wealthy? They've conquered it. And it often starts with exercise. We're not talking about squeezing in a quick jog after work when they can fit it in. No, they prioritize physical fitness, making it a non-negotiable part of their day, usually first thing in the morning. Why? Because they understand the power of a clear mind and a body flooded with endorphins. This isn't just about looking good in a suit. It's about having the energy, focus, and mental clarity to tackle the demands of their day. They're setting the tone for success before most people even hit the snooze button. Imagine trying to build a skyscraper without a blueprint. That's what it's like trying to build a successful life without a plan. The ultra-wealthy understand this, which is why they dedicate specific time each week to strategic planning. This isn't just jotting down a to-do list. It's about setting clear, measurable goals, prioritizing tasks, and identifying potential roadblocks. They review their progress, analyze their wins and losses, and make adjustments as needed. This laser-like focus on their objectives allows them to maximize their time and resources, ensuring they stay ahead of the curve. Ever notice how the ultra-wealthy seem to know everyone who's anyone? That's not by accident. They understand that building and nurturing a strong network is crucial. But they don't just collect business cards at stuffy events. They actively engage with their connections, attending industry conferences, charity galas, and exclusive gatherings. They're constantly seeking out new relationships with potential partners, mentors, and even competitors. Remember, it's not just about what you can get from your network. It's about what you can offer. The ultra-wealthy are masters at providing value, fostering genuine connections that benefit everyone involved. Chapter 4. Never Stop Learning The ultra-wealthy obsession with continuous growth. In a world that's constantly evolving, resting on your laurels is a recipe for disaster. The ultra-wealthy know this, which is why they're obsessed with continuous learning. They devour books, attend seminars, and seek out mentors in their field. They're not afraid to invest in their education, understanding that knowledge is a valuable asset. But it's not just about acquiring information. It's about applying it. They're constantly experimenting with new ideas, testing strategies, and refining their approach. This commitment to lifelong learning allows them to stay ahead of the curve, adapt to change, and remain relevant in their industries. Chapter 5 Finding Your Center The Power of Mindfulness and Meditation In the whirlwind of high-stakes decisions and constant demands, the ultra-wealthy understand the importance of a calm and focused mind. That's where mindfulness and meditation come in. We're not talking about sitting cross-legged on a mountaintop. It's about incorporating simple yet powerful practices into their daily routines, whether it's a few minutes of deep breathing, a gratitude journal, or a mindful walk in nature. These practices help them manage stress, improve focus, and gain clarity. By quieting the noise of the outside world, they're able to tap into their inner wisdom and make sound decisions. Chapter 6 Family First Why the Ultra-Wealthy Prioritize Quality Time You might think the ultra-wealthy are all work and no play, but that's far from the truth. They understand that success isn't just about money, it's about living a fulfilling life. And a huge part of that is spending quality time with loved ones. They schedule dedicated family time into their week 
Whether it's a weekly dinner, a weekend getaway, or simply putting away their phones and being present with their children. This focus on personal connections provides a much needed balance to their demanding work lives, reminding them of what truly matters. Chapter seven, giving back. The impact of philanthropy on the ultra wealthy. The ultra wealthy understand that with great wealth comes great responsibility. That's why philanthropy is a cornerstone of their lives. They're not just writing checks. They're actively involved in causes they're passionate about, whether it's funding education initiatives, supporting medical research, or combating climate change. They see philanthropy as an opportunity to make a tangible difference in the world, leaving a legacy that extends far beyond their own success. But it's not just about the impact on the recipients. Giving back also brings a sense of purpose and fulfillment to the giver. Chapter 8 You are what you eat, the fuel that powers the ultra-wealthy. Imagine a high-performance sports car trying to run on cheap fuel. It wouldn't perform at its best, would it? The same goes for our bodies. The ultra-wealthy understand that what they put into their bodies directly impacts their energy levels, focus, and overall well-being. They prioritize nutrient-rich foods, opting for fresh fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. They're mindful of portion control and avoid processed foods, sugary drinks, and excessive caffeine. This focus on healthy eating habits isn't about deprivation. It's about fueling their bodies for peak performance. Chapter 9. Work smarter, not harder. The power of delegation and outsourcing. The ultra-wealthy have the same 24 hours in a day as everyone else, yet they seem to accomplish so much more. How? They've mastered the art of delegation and outsourcing. They understand that their time is valuable and should be focused on high-impact activities that move the needle. They delegate tasks that can be done by others, freeing up their time and mental bandwidth for strategic thinking, relationship building, and pursuing their passions. This allows them to leverage the skills and expertise of others, creating a team of capable individuals who contribute to their overall success. Chapter 10. The Weekly Review. Reflecting on wins, learning from losses. At the end of the week, while others are winding down, the ultra-wealthy are taking the time to reflect. They review their accomplishments, analyze their setbacks, and identify areas for improvement. They ask themselves tough questions. What went well? What could have been done better? What did I learn? This process of self-reflection allows them to learn from their experiences, both positive and negative, and continuously refine their approach. It's about constantly seeking ways to improve, to become the best version of themselves, both personally and professionally. Outro. Level up your life. There you have it the top 10 weekly routines of the ultra-wealthy. These aren't just random habits, they're strategic practices designed to maximize time, optimize performance, and create a fulfilling life. The good news is, you don't have to be a billionaire to implement these routines. Start small, pick one or two that resonate with you, and make them a non-negotiable part of your week. Incorporate these habits into your life and see the difference they make. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. See you next time.